This is true. Please understand what I teach you. It is with a heart of love. It is one secret. One of the greatest blessings of my parents. Did you know the meaning of my name? Selman means the way to love. What a powerful name. I thank my parents every time I'm fortunate to still have them both alive. All but alive. And I say thank you. I, do, I don't want way to wisdom, way to knowledge, way to all these things that cause trouble. Way to love. The Bible already told us. Listen to me. You've heard me say it. And I will repeat it again. I said it during Wafbeck, Pastor. My life's goal, aside from being a preacher, I, I don't just want to be known as a man of revelation, signs, wonders. My greatest legacy, if I ever want any, it should be that Joshua Selman was a sincere man who loved God with his life and helped to create a path for a generation to follow. And in doing so, became a shoulder for many wounded people to find refuge. That is a legacy that is priceless. Are we together? It's a legacy that is priceless. Some of you from this service need to run back and go to your father and say, I'm tired of insulting you for my situation. You are a man. I respect the fact that in spite of your irresponsibility, you did not throw me out of your house. Daddy, I've been speaking foolishly, but I came to the house of God. You are a man. I am also a man. I don't, I, I don't know what it means for you to have taken care of 14 of us. So I don't blame you that we're sleeping in a roof where the rain falls in. You gave me an opportunity to go to school. I still cannot afford bread. Now I know being a man is hard. Well done, sir. For training 13 people without education. One of the ways that God teaches us lessons is to allow us go through what we talk about. That way, it is a lesson that is edged. May God forbid that I cannot pay my children's school fees. No, this man is irresponsible. And he's saying, I am not. I lost my job. This maybe it's a witchcraft. What witchcraft attack? There's no such thing. You are sowing a seed, the harvest is waiting for you. The day you wake up in the morning and one leg cannot move again, you say, No, this is a joke. That's when you will understand that oppression is real. And that's the day you will look back at the 10 years foolishness of somebody you insulted and go back and say, Sir, I'm sorry, you were right. It's not irresponsibility. I came from a family where they pray two times a day. You came from a family where you serve idols five times a day. Brothers and sisters, listen to me. The mercy of God is sponsored by an understanding. One of it is what I'm giving you now. All men are men. When I have the privilege of wiping the tears of people, I do it with all my heart. People come to me and say, Apostle, I've not prayed for weeks. I've not fasted for weeks. I'm a man of God. I'm in my assembly. But let me tell you the truth. I don't even know if I believe in God again. That's the time for our pride to speak and say, I can't believe this. And you stand on that pulpit and preach? No. That's the time to not even stop the man from talking and let your hog do the speaking. Hold him there for as long as it can be. And say, let me tell you, my brother, God is able to lift us again. I don't know what situations that you go through that would have warranted that. But I'm ready to pray with you. I have a little manual that can help you in your sermons. Do you need any? Have your children eaten? And he said, no, they've not paid school fees for two years. What kind of sermon will you bring under that kind of condition? Is someone learning what I'm saying? Because, pastor, people are dying in churches. The church is almost becoming a, an abattoir. Where people, we, we butcher people like animals. People sit down, but there are bills on their heads. And they are told to pretend it's not there. Faith is not foolishness. I couldn't earn it. And I don't deserve it. Still you give yourself away. Oh, the overwhelming.
Thank you for watching.